I am the contrary. This is my world. I'm Manisha. I'm director and co-founder of Environics. It's an organization which has been working for last 10 years on the effect of radiation. So my effort will be to show Rajiv we are all not aware of how it is impacting us and maybe show him how it is harming us. The mobile phone. Almost everyone across the world who uses it and those that want to use it will 100% say this. It is the greatest technology innovation the world has ever seen. But with that comes the second part, which most people will agree, that there is radiation emitted from the phone. How harmful is it is, of course, the big question. Will it destroy all of us eventually after we use mobile phones for 30 years? What will be the effect? What does it happen? What happens to us right now from all the radiation that our bodies are actually taking every single day. Is there conclusive proof that we are being damaged as human beings? Well, this is a big question mark. Maybe on the contrary and today, I'll get you some answers. So the first one minute of the show is all yours. I won't interrupt you. What you're going to tell us all about, is this typical fear mongering? No, it's okay. not just fear mongering because uh, awareness I feel is important. Okay. Problem is that we all are using it without being aware about the kind of impact it can have on the body. Okay. 10 years back, this was not so much of a case because if you remember, we all of us in college, I never had a mobile phone. Okay. So the amount of talking we did on phone was maybe just half an hour maximum mm -hmm. or an hour. But now with 10 years hence, we are talking almost all of us are well, with It's not mobile just talking, phone. we use it for everything, right? I mean, our whole life is, yes, absolutely. I use it, right. I see everybody putting mobile phone next to their head while they sleep also. So while you are not using it, you are still exposing your body. Correct. So that's where I feel it's important to let people know what can it do to them. Okay. Then let them decide. So what can it do? I mean, what is it, uh, you know, the number of scientific studies that have been done, which have, I'm using the unfortunate word the industry uses, that it was not conclusive. Yes, it does this. Yes, we also saw this. Yes, it's doing this to your ear canal. It's doing this to your brain. But it's not conclusive. So what's conclusive about it? And why should I be aware of something if it's not even been proven yet? See, problem again with conclusive word, I'm a little wary of. Okay. Because if you go back 50 years hence, cigarettes were coming in the same category. Right, when the okay companies which were manufacturing were saying there was no conclusive evidence. In fact, I just recently saw there was an advertisement by a doctor for a camel cigarette saying, please smoke this, it's good for your throat. It'll soothe your throat, throat. 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 Right. Yeah. So imagine what we are, where we are. So you're are saying that the, the trajectory of these studies and the entire idea of a mobile phone is going the same way as cigarette, In what fact, it does to your body and the scientific study, which all said the same thing. Seems like it's bad for you, but it's not conclusive. And to a lot of people, they actually said it's good for you. In right? fact, uh, there's a lady called Magda Havas. She's been doing research for the last 40 years on this. And she calls mobile phones cigarettes of 21st century. Okay. The All difference right. is that cigarettes, you can choose not to smoke. Mobile phones, you cannot choose right now not to use. I, I understand some of the things which are spoken about. 99% uh, of the world charges their phone on top of their head, you know, right next to their bed, put it, plug it in. I mean, um, when I say that 99% I do the same, even though there's a lot of times I actually do reflect on it saying, what am I doing? Okay. So yes, I agree. Uh, a lot of us use a lot of other radiation emitting products, but we're talking about mobile phones today. We'll stick to that. But what is it doing? I mean, I haven't seen myself deteriorate. I haven't seen parts of my body fall out as yet. So what is it it's doing to me? I mean, is it a slow death? Uh, to answer that technically, I will do it. But can I just show you a one test on your body, what mobile does to you? We can do it here. I mean, I don't need right to go to here? any scientific lab. Right here. Sure. Right here, because that once you experience, you will know the answer. You may not ask me any technical question after, after that. After that. So it's, oh, my, that much. But I, I'm going to do it right now. You're not going right. to make me lie down. Anything, no, right? no, no, no. Just very like easy. this. Very so easy. what do you need for it? Me and? Me and you and the mobile phone. We're changing now the contrarian set to uh, R&D lab 
and I'm going to be the experiment rat, okay? So let's find out exactly what's going to happen. So can we get two phones on the set, please? Stand here. Okay. Put your hand like this. Okay, with one phone in hand? No, no. nothing, just okay. without like any this. phone. Like this? Yeah. Okay, okay. So this is just a small strength test, which we check the strength of your muscles, okay? It's called okay. kinesiology. Okay. So anyways, I'm going to push your hand down. Okay. Don't allow me to push. Okay. Use all your force, okay? Start. Yeah. Very strong. Very strong. Good, good, good. So let's see now what happens with the phone. So this is the switched on phone, right? This that is you've the given switched me. on phone. Okay, what do I do? Which is working phone. Put it in that hand, little away from me, please. And oh, use I hold the same, the same position, same but just position. I'm doing the same thing, just holding the phone, holding right? The phone. Okay. okay. Again, okay. I'm going to use the same pressure, and you use the same one. Okay. So. Okay, you use more pressure. Did I? In fact, it went pretty fast. You have to tell me. Anyways, okay. now. Some, you can say I'm holding the phone, that's why it happened. So I'll give you this phone to hold. Okay. Okay, just hold it. It's any other phone. Okay. This is also on. Right. Okay, again. Same thing. Same thing. Use the same pressure. Okay. I could hang on your okay, hand yeah, and not. No, no, you've used a lot more pressure. So, <laughs> so this one is like because of the chip you're saying, it's because it's actually switched off. Yes, because this has a chip which takes <sighs> care of the negative wow, effect you, of you've really blown my mind at the moment okay let's 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 sit down can i give the phones away please yes please okay so you'll have to give me a little bit of time because i'm a little shocked at myself a lot of people including the people in the studio here and the production control room said did i fake it i didn't fake it i'm also a little flabbergasted right now but all i can say is i put in more effort when i held the mobile phone than I was before and my hand still went down. So I'm a little surprised. So what was happening to me? Now I'll tell you the what mobile does to you with this experiment. You all have flown. What do they tell you? Switch off your mobile phone. Second part is because it interferes with in-flight communication okay. system. It's exactly same thing is happening in your body. In first case, when you didn't have anything, your brain sent the signal to hand to resist because I asked you to resist. So Correct. it was a voluntary reaction. Your hand heard it, resisted. In the second case, when you held the phone, phone has microwave radiations, where the signals of which actually interferes with our body signals. Okay. So your brain was sending the signal to hand to resist, but it did not reach the hand. So it's not that your strength went down in two seconds. Oh, okay, thank God, okay, fine. Uh -huh. So, but, so, but you're saying that this is the interference with signal to body. So body communication system gets hindered with the phone. Okay, so let's get down to now one or two of the other things that become really important when you talk. So what is it then when you have things like this chip that somebody puts, a lot of people call it snake oil. It's a complete gimmick and there are many that yeah. do nothing, absolutely. Yeah, right. But to those that actually do work, what is it doing to your phone? See, basically what it is doing is it's not taking care of the thermal effect. Obviously. Heating effect no. cannot be taken SAR care of. SAR values cannot change. Cannot change. Okay. And if you talk more, you are at harm. It means that at least this biological malfunction of the body by can holding the protected. phone can be protected to a certain point, yes. right? And it doesn't affect the performance of the phone no, at all? No, at all? Not You don't at lose all. a few bars? No, the because signal we are not, you? you cannot absorb these radiation, you cannot deflect these radiation. Okay. In fact, they are being emitted because you want certain type of call, you don't want your calls to drop. Mm -hmm. So people are spending or telecom industry is spending so much to emit these radiation for some purpose. So what we are trying to do or what we have understood from the research is intensities aside, but the biological effect can be protected. Control. So what Control. happens to these? I wear two smart watches. Both have Bluetooth on all the time. Am I slowly killing myself while trying to get fit? Do I have to answer that <laughs> <laughs> after all this? <laughs> all right, so, so <laughs> goodbye to both of these. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you for the experiment you've done. I'm still reeling a little behind, but before you're going to go, of course, everybody from my production control room and everyone else wants you to hang on to their arm. So then I need Let's a glass of milk after that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. And Thanks. we should have you back again to find out if people actually change their lifestyle. So when you have a talk with a lot of people, do you see them change their lifestyles? Do you yes. actually see? To yes. In it, fact, it has my a, friends, it, I tell them, and all that scientists are telling, at least protect your kids. Would you okay. allow them, because you are the one, they don't know, they don't have a choice.
So you are giving them phones at an age where it is the SAR is 10 times higher for them and because their blood brain Correct. barrier is not. Correct. Pregnant women, pregnant women are putting laptop on their lap actually where it is supposed to be put mm. and one phone in their hand. Imagine the kid inside. What are we doing? We nowadays talk about smog, but I or this most is, of the, the world is... a bigger is pollutant than anything else? Yes, it's called electro smog, the pollution in disguise. Oh, we don't they, they call it electro smog? Or is that this something is, you've just coined on No, your it's own? not my coin. You okay. go on net and okay, in fact, the smog. scientists are saying this is going to be the next calamity which world is going to fight because Wi-Fi and everything is so... I'm out. not mm. trying to again well, fear. Well, well, good, you're still not calling it fear-mongering, but you've put a lot of fear into me and hopefully the awareness into everybody yes. else. Thank you so much. Wonderful speaking with you. Thank you. So like we said on the show today, very important to ask a question. Are you giving a cigarette in the hand of your two-year-old, your three-year-old? And are you doing that to yourself? It's called electrosmog. It's radiation. A small experiment that I did right here also proved that I wasn't playing contrary anymore after that. Something you have to be aware of. Lead a healthy, happy life. It doesn't necessarily have to be only stuck to a mobile phone. See you next week on The Contrary. Thank you again. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks. I am the contrarian, and this 